so welcome back guys um lucky's up there and loki wants to see what's going on here um ricky's on the top cage and by the lighting you might guess that um yes i'm filming this quite late at night and um yeah you can see the cage is now f i mean the wheel is now floating basically uh this is how it is at the moment this is how it is at the moment i've put it like um up there and i've put it with those um um hooks and then um it's basically floating in the air if that makes sense and then on this bit it like leans on there um on the side of that but yeah he's happy he's got so much more space now and i've got so much more space to add in whatever i need he's got his bowl here these cute little bowl but um yeah i've also put this one um over here i've given him some fabric as well i know some people um are against giving their leggings fabric um i mean it depends what fabric it is this one is very very super soft um but to be honest i don't think it's a problem because you give them fabric like this like this is fabric and this they haven't even chewed it they just put it in there um in their bedding and because it's getting really really cold um because winter's coming and because of global warming and climate changes um yeah winter is going to be colder here in england so um where is he gone there he is <laughs> And so, yeah, I sort of rearranged a few things in this cage. I also got this from Pets at Home, which is new. He hasn't used it much. I don't think he can really fit in there. I mean, he could, half of him, if he wanted to. But, um, yeah, I don't know. He hasn't really used it. I thought he would sort of um, take it apart, um, you know, chew it. But he hasn't really. He sort of left it. Um, this is more for, like, hamsters and stuff, but I still got it because I thought he would like a little ball of, um, hay. So, yeah. I've also rearranged one of their drawers. The other one's still a bit of a mess, but, um, yeah, this is the stuff I use when I take them out to play. These are their treats, and then they've got extra treats here, which I got. These ones I haven't tried yet, I don't think. I tried similar ones, but um, they look really, really good. And down here you can see it says for Degus. But I got that as well in there. And um, ooh, it's not focusing. <laughs> and this one and this one are both for their food measuring stuff, you know. Um, then some cleaning. And I've got some more cleaning in there. But anyway, on to the video. I actually went to... Um, pets at home um today and i got these two and i just wanted to talk to you about the different types of hay if anyone is just overwhelmed by all the different types of hay you can get before we start i just wanted to show you ricky real quick he is great they're both preparing themselves to go to bed and i'm now going to feed them um their bedtime feed let's just say okay so i also got some other stuff from pets at home that i could um that I'll be mentioning at the end of the video, but, sorry, that's Loki, he likes to be in my videos, um, but, okay, let's just get started. So, as you might know, this is my old, um, hay that I use, it's just a hay medium bale, and as you can see there, it is for degus, I always like to show you guys in case you're not sure, but, um, yeah, it is for degus, and this one is, I think, very thin, very compact, it's, um, yeah, it's almost finished as well. But there is so, so many other types of hay. As you can see, these are very, very different from this one. I'll put them next to each other so you can see. These two are also different, if you don't um, notice. Um, so this one is similar to this one, actually. But, okay, I'm going to go through more of the uses. So I'm going to start with that. So this one is used more for their bedding instead like as you can see this is all hay mixed with some sawdust and some other things but he's and these <laughs> and some um cardboard um bits and as you can see he's put them in his um as bedding basically he's used them all as bedding um because they're really good for insulation 
because they're quite thin, they're small, you know, they can um, they can be moved around a lot positioned how they want it. So they use that for their bedding compared to this one, which is very thick straw, very long. This will not keep good insulation for them. It will not be, it will not keep them warm. Essentially, that's what I mean. And this is for Degu's. Degu's as you can see and then this one is also for Degu's I don't know where it said that I think I asked them for this one. Oh, I am so sorry um, Yeah, I think I asked them for this one and they said it would be okay but um, yeah, that's definitely okay for um, Degu's because I asked a staff member at um, Pets at Home anyway and um so they're a little bit different because this one i mean this one and this one are pretty similar this one can be used for bedding as well but as you can see it has lots of petals which they are 100 percent allowed to have obviously this would be more in moderation to this one you could give this um hay to them S sorry that's loki crying i'm just gonna let him out i'll be back okay sorry he doesn't want to be in my videos anymore but um this one you could give all the time or 80 90 percent of the time um you could put it in their cage available to them but this other one is a little bit more for um for foraging so you wouldn't give it to them all the time maybe when you clean out the cage you would just add it um on top of their um sawdust and this one also but i would put even less of this one because i think as you can see this one's a little bit more yellow than these and the greener they are the more sugars as well they have and these are really really thick really really green and especially because they have flower petals and stuff inside they could have more sugars than this one so it could make them fat giving them these two and um but yeah, but this these are both very good for them. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll open them yet, but um I will definitely open this one because I've I've never seen these for degus before. So it kind of surprised me when I saw that. Um so I will be opening this one. I would say giving this one a little bit more often than these ones would be better because them you take a chunk, but there are much more in here. Just much more um much more sugars much more hay there's like much more of everything in a, like a chunk of this than a chunk of this so i would definitely give this one in moderation a little bit more especially because this one it does show flowers on here so it's a little bit deceiving because you think there's flowers in here but there's not actually i just looked um so this one when it's got the flowers just give them maybe only when you clean out the cage or only once or twice a week i would say so if they finish them don't put it back in their cage compared to these ones where you can put it in their cage every time they finish it or a day after they finished it and they've been without it. But um, yeah, they always need to be munching on some hay. Also, this will be good for their teeth, I think, um, you know, because they keep on regrowing. So munching down on something continuously would be very good. Um, <laughs> just wanted to show you, Ricky. Okay, so now I'm going to be filling up um, their cages with this. Um, a little bit, a little bit of that because um, just in there. And then I will be adding a little bit of this, but not in there. Um... Actually, I won't even put that in their little tube hut thing. I'll put it somewhere else so they can build their, um... so they can build it up themselves. Um, it also keeps them occupied. Um, but yeah, this I will just sprinkle on the surface, maybe only on the bottom floor. So I can also see really, really well if, when it finishes. Um, and I can make sure I know he's eating it. Or if he doesn't like it, I make sure I see. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to show you how much I would put for Lucky and um, for Ricky as well. Now, because... They are getting a little bit old and I have noticed even when I take them out to play like outside their cage, um, they have been a little slower, a little less active and that is because 
unfortunately they are becoming a little bit um old well a little bit they are becoming old now um so they are also i am watching like with old degus you should watch their body weight as well i think lucky is slight uh, like really slightly becoming to be a little bit fat but um as you may be able to see ricky's fine really but it's because they're not really even on their wheel you can see they more walk or trot rather than actually run on their wheel before it used to be a violent run um but yeah it's just um yeah they're being a lot less active now especially in the winter but Generally, and in the winter, you shouldn't feed them as much hay or treats or anything that could make them fat, um, generally. So I will be decreasing the amount I give them a lot, lot more. And um, yeah, so make sure you know your Degu's age and make sure you weigh them regularly um, to see how much they should be eating. Um, I'm going to say a healthy Degu, like an adult Degu, this doesn't apply for baby Degu's though. But a healthy adult Degu should have 10 grams, kilograms, sorry, no, grams. Oh, God, I'm getting confused. 10 grams, yes, sorry, not kilograms, not 10 kilograms of food every day, but um, 10 grams, yeah. So what I do, and this, this should include uh, vegetables and some fruits, like apples, I know. I could make a video telling you guys what they can and cannot eat if you want but there are so many like there are nuts involved what they can cannot eat there are lots of um things like sage um lots of things that can be involved so it will be a pretty long video but generally this 10 grams should include vegetables as well and um, anything you add extra to the cage to the to their diet essentially so for example, I would normally give them um, five grams um, of food, for example, of their nuggets, and then maybe another five grams in um, of vegetables. And you can find it anywhere, really, like on any websites, um, any books as well that you might want to get for um, their use. And it'll tell you all the vegetables they can have. I'm pretty sure they can't have fruits except apples, I think. But you're only supposed to feed them that once a month, I think. Because it has got a lot of sugar. Like, even if it is natural sugars, they should not be having fruits. So just make sure you know you're not feeding um, your dead gives any toxic things. But, um, yeah, but vegetables, they can have basically everything. Except I know carrots and uh, I think cauliflower, they can only have the leaves, but I'm not sure. There are so many, so many um, fruits, I mean vegetables, <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, so I can't remember all of them, but I always go see if I want to feed them something. But yeah, in general, but nuts are also good, mainly. But... Yeah, so here you can see I've put um, some broccoli is super super good for them and I've put it in there because it's old and um, yeah you shouldn't leave it there for more than a day and they haven't really eaten it also uh, I would like to mention as they're getting old they're eating a little bit less but at the same time they're getting a bit fat so I don't know how that works but you know you just have to see what they like as well so um, yeah <laughs> but um, yeah so make sure you're adding that 10 grams a day including you know, and make sure you add it in with a routine. So you can add five grams in the morning and then five grams in the evening. It just depends when you're at home and your schedule and your lifestyle, you know. Um, but yeah, and obviously there are so many different ways of giving it to them. But um, yeah, this is just a general thing that I'm going to be speaking to you guys about. Oh, and also I am working on, um, well, planning on getting another cage for Ricky do not worry I am still planning on that it is taking a little bit long because there has been a few changes to my life college so um yeah bear with me I'm sorry but but yeah we'll I'll get there okay so I definitely will be um okay so now let's move on to uh, hay testing 
Okay, so I've added um, two little clumps on there, and you can see that Ricky is foraging through it and getting the ones that he likes. Um, but yeah, he'll then later on put it in here um, where he has built his den, which is so cute, I think, how they do that. And for Lucky, I've put one there and one up there, and he's eating the one up there. If you can see, it is a little bit dark, but... I'm sorry, this is as much light as I have. So, um, yeah, while you're watching him, um, yeah, I'd like to just say that I do put a little bit each time I give it to them. I don't like to put too much because, um, yeah, because they can leave a lot there and then or they can pee on it, they can poop on it, so it gets really dirty. And then when I clean their cage, I have to get rid of it because it also starts to smell when they pee on it. Um, so... Yeah, it's a pretty big waste of, um, of hay if you think about it. So this saves a lot of hay, so just keep adding it when they run out. And um, yeah, I'll make sure the enclosure stays clean as well. Okay, so I'm not going to be adding this one, but I will be trying this one because I'm really excited for this. Um, because as I told you, I've never seen one like this before for Degu's. Okay, this already smells so, so good and so rich. In just so many, so many smells already. Just so rich, you know. Um, I don't know why the lighting keeps changing. But yeah, I've just made a little bit of a mess opening it. But it's fine. I'll seal it with a clip afterwards. Um, but yeah, it was quite easy to, to open. Um, but yeah, I'll be giving them a little bit to begin with. Because I don't even know if they like this. Um, so just a little bit to begin with. And then tomorrow, I'll see if they eat it. Oh my goodness, you guys, as soon as I put it in, they stopped eating the other one and they went to this one. So we've got different types like this as well, which have got seeds in it, but look how much they love it. Oh my goodness, this must be triggering so many um, different like behaviours and emotions from them. Oh, and oh my god, look at what I found. This is like a little flower. Like a little wildflower. That looks really nice. Okay, I'm going to leave it in there because they can probably eat that. Actually, I'm going to leave it here to see if they'll eat it. But, oh my god. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they do eat it. Ricky. Oops, sorry. And Ricky is eating it as well, which is so cute. Like, as soon as I put it in their cage, it's like they smelt it. And they smelled it. And they came, like, running down. That is actually so, so cute. I'm so happy that they love it. And this, like, helps with so many natural behaviours as well. Because um, it does seem more fresh. I'm not going to lie. It does seem more fresh than the other hay. But look at that. I don't think they've ever liked anything more than this. So if you have degus and you're able to go to pets at home, literally get to this I don't even know how much it cost. I don't even care at this point. Get it. It's called the green oat hay with flowers. And yeah, it actually said with flowers, but I didn't see any. It's amazing. They love it. I Literally, they love it. And I'm happy that they do because when your pet loves something, you're really happy. So yeah, I am very happy. Um, I think I put a little bit today and with something like this, they love so much. I'm not just going to put it there, leave it for a few days. I think I might put like the tiniest bit like I put right now, which is just there. Just what you see on there, this much. That's how much I put. It's the long strings of hair like this. That's literally how much I put. I might put that much um, every other day, but on the same time. So they know. And it's very good to have a routine with them. But... Oh my goodness, I did not think they would like it this much. Honestly, look at that. This one's the one with like little seeds inside, I think. Thank you.
Yeah, I thought I thought it would be good for their teeth as you can hear that crunch. Which is really good. He's just looking at me. Honestly, they seem like children on Christmas Day. I'm not, I'm not even lying. I've never, like, they are so picky, both of them, so picky with their food. But they just love this so much. Oh, he's found it. Oh, <laughs> all the way he's matched that. Okay, so I will definitely be getting more of this in the future. And now we need to test this, but I'm not going to test it straight away because... They're already going to have this new one, which is going to be a weird change for them. But I will still be getting that one because it is their normal one. And I know it is good for them, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be getting that other one. But this one, I will wait. But I will also put this one in moderation um, for them. But yeah, either way, I will um, try that one. Just later on, maybe even when I finish this one, it depends. Um, maybe I'll finish this one, try that one, and then whichever one works best, I'll get that from then on. But it is really nice to have two different types of hay, um, preferably one of these, which is for their bedding, and they'll still eat it, but it is mainly for their bedding, and something like this. Um, and I highly recommend this one from Pets at Home. Okay, moving on, I also wanted to show you. So I've got I've got this, um, which is some um, sage leaves, but these are actually from the plant I have in my garden. So um, yeah, that's from that. And um, and I just wanted to show you that I have those. And then I also got this from Pets at Home. I put it in a separate bag, but this is also a foraging, like a hard foraging thing. Um, I would like split off a chunk and maybe add it to their food um you know mix it into their food maybe um yeah only sometimes only like two three times a week maybe um just to add a little bit extra you know i like to add um a lot of enrichment for my degus um to do with foraging because i know they love it so i also got this one i also got that is the wrong way this huge chunk of lavender wood shavings and it is for degus right there um so yes they can have lavender wood shavings or sawdust i'll say sawdust but anyway and um i haven't opened this yet because i need to finish my other one but i want to try this because their cage has been smelling quite a lot i'm not sure why just randomly i actually clean it more often so maybe because I know some animals like their scent and they don't really like when you clean their cage. Obviously, it is necessary, but a lot of animals don't like it. So maybe they're compensating for that lack of, you know, of their scent that's been taken away. I don't know, but um, I'll try to see what it is. But anyway, but I got this one. So if um, you even have ferrets as well and you're watching this video or you have rats, which I know... These can be quite smelly. Um, anyway, you can get these lavender wood shavings, which I think smell like lavender because, um, yeah, it helps um, scent, yeah, to reduce odours. And, um, yeah, cosy bed, I think this is a little bit smaller. Like, the little shavings are a little bit smaller. So, you know, the smaller it is, um, the more it will create insulation, which will keep them warm. So I think this is really good for um, the winter as well. But yeah, I also got this one. And then speaking about the winter, I got these paper bedding, which some some of you may think it's a little bit of a waste because I could just get my own paper, even toilet paper, which would be cheaper, cut it up, whatever. But I wanted to try these because... I don't know, I'm obsessed with buying stuff on Pets at Home, so <laughs> I had to try these, but um, 
yeah so um this will actually be for their um bedding just to help them keep warm because um yeah my dagoos hate the cold as well so this will help them um keep warm but yeah it's just like paper stuff and it is for their use uh where is it right there no there we go there it is for their use and um yeah this is the medium one so i think you can get the larger one or even small ones but um yeah i got the medium one just to try it so we'll see how it goes and maybe i'll just buy toilet paper and cut it up but unless you've got a paper shredder <laughs> that is gonna take a long long time so i'll just see I'll see but okay you guys this video is super super long i haven't posted in a while i know um i've been super busy um these past few months um this past few year actually but um i probably will be busier um in the next few months um so please bear with me but if you have any specific things you would like me to make videos of just let me know because I would love that um there has been some videos that I have uploaded and have actually ended up like cancelling like not uploading basically so and then they've been deleted off my camera also I don't know what's happening <laughs> um if it's YouTube if it's my phone if it's my camera or I don't know but um yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video i know that my degus definitely definitely did um but yeah so if you have any requests for any other videos um yeah please feel free to add those in the comments i also do have an instagram which i do not post too often um but if you're interested in just scrolling through and seeing some of their pictures even of when they used to be together um yeah i also have an instagram you can find it in um my bio um on my channel but yeah i hope you guys have um a really really nice evening um and yeah bye guys